Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing an unboxing of something I purchased on Louis Vuitton's website. For some reason, in the last week or two, they have released a lot of their popular canvas pieces. So if there is something that you have in mind, I would definitely recommend checking the website to see if it's available. So guys, here's the item I purchased. Anytime you order something online from Louis Vuitton, it comes in a very discreet box. As you can see, this box has nothing on the outside to indicate that it has come from Louis Vuitton. So if that is a concern that you have when ordering online, uh, just rest assured that there's no big Louis Vuitton on the outside of the box. So let's go ahead and open it up. And when you open it up, it will say Louis Vuitton here on the inside. But that is not visible obviously when you're shipping and then of course inside it'll be packaged up very nicely and let me just go ahead and take it out I think it'll be easier okay so inside you're going to get a little envelope like this and this usually has a return label in it and some care card information of uh, your receipt things like that and then here's the box nicely wrapped I am unboxing this for the first time with you guys so let's see what it looks like but it comes with a beautiful blue ribbon and then of course usually you have this little card here if it's a gift you can usually write a little note on the piece of paper inside and then just opening the box up it is in here and let me know pause this video right now let me know if you can guess what it is just by looking at the dust bag so here is the dust bag and inside is oh my gosh the niece mini so the Nice Mini is a piece that I have had my eye on for a long time and I've always checked online to see if it was available. It usually is never available online and for some reason it finally did become available and so I quickly added it to my cart and shipped it to my house. I ordered this last week, I think last Thursday, and it arrived on Tuesday, so it was pretty fast in the shipping process. It is in the iconic monogram canvas, and then at the top you have a handle made out of the Vachetta leather, as well as a Vachetta leather trim on the top and on the bottom. This is a piece that I've wanted to add to my collection for a while now. I think it looks so pretty on top of a vanity, and I like the size as well for traveling. I do like the Nice BB. I think I might add it in the future, but it is a little bit big for what I would want traveling, and so I thought the Nice Mini was the perfect size. Of course, you also have the Nice Nano, which would be smaller than this, um, but I thought for what I wanted, this was the best size. All right, so let's go ahead and open it up. Of course, you have the gold hardware and you have two zippers on the inside. We just have this little plastic pillow. And here is the inside of the bag. It is a wipeable interior and it just comes in the tan color, which is so pretty. I think I'm going to get a bag organizer from Samorga for this, but they always take a while to arrive. So when I decided to buy it to the time that I got it, there's no way that that organizer would have arrived. But let's just go ahead and see what fits inside of this for now. I have grabbed all of my makeup essentials that I would want to take on a trip with me and then a little extra. So let's go ahead and see what fits inside of here. And I just have this really cute Bridgerton eyeshadow palette that I just bought. So I'm gonna go ahead and fit that at the bottom here. And it's a perfect fit. Next, I have this Hourglass Face Palette. This is a palette of really nice powders. They have blushes, finishing powders, and a bronzer, so let's stick that in there as well. Next is my foundation, probably the most important item of my makeup collection. I really like this new foundation from Chanel. It is pricey, but I think it looks so beautiful on the skin that it was definitely worth it the price tag. Next up I have this blush. I really like this blush from Chanel. I'm actually wearing it today so I'm going to stick that in there right now as well. And then I also have another blush from YSL. If I have the space I like to pack a couple of them. So put that in there. Next up is my concealer from Dior. I really love this concealer. It is the Forever Skin Correct Concealer and I think it's it goes really nice on the skin. It's not cakey or anything like that. So definitely an essential for me. 
Next up, I have a lipstick. This is also from the Pat McGrath Bridgerton collection. I just bought this, and it is in the Nude Romantique 2 color. It's a really pretty pink nude, and it's actually the nude that I'm wearing right now, along with this Dior Lip Maximizer lip gloss. I love this stuff, and I have this on top of my lipstick right now, and it is my favorite combination at the moment. Next up is another Dior item, and it is the mini size of their Iconic Curl Mascara. I like the mini sizes of mascaras a lot. I never finish all of a mascara completely, um, just because I don't really wear makeup every day, and so I think getting the minis is really nice. It's also hygienic because you're supposed to change your mascara every few months, and so I find that the mini sizes really work best for me. So I'll stick that in there as well. Next up, we have another lip gloss that, as you can tell, I really like. This one is called Divine Rose. It's another Pat McGrath lip gloss. I really like her lip stuff. Um, if you haven't checked out Pat McGrath for lips, I highly recommend. Next up is my eyebrow pencil from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I really like this one. It's called the Brow Wiz, and I get it in the dark brown. Now, just adding a couple of more pencils. This is an eyeliner pencil from Charlotte Tilbury that I really like. And then this is the lip liner and pillow talk from Charlotte Tilbury as well. And so far, I've added a lot of my essentials, and I, there's still plenty of space. I'm going to go ahead and add a few extra things, like my sunscreen. This is one of my favorites. It's the Unseen Sunscreen from Super Goop in SPF 40. It goes on clear, so it's really great for putting underneath makeup. I live in Florida, so sunscreen is very important here. It's important everywhere, but the sun here is just so strong that I try to be really good and wear my sunscreen every day. Um, I'm also going to add this Peony and Blush Suede from Jo Malone. This is one of my favorite scents. I really like this size because it makes a really good travel size and it just fits right in there. I also have a little travel size of this Tatcha Cleanser. And then here is one of my favorite moisturizers. I go between two moisturizers. Right now I'm using this Caudalie moisturizer and then I also have another one from Laneige. I have skin that tends to get dry and so those two moisturizers for me have really been the best. Next up I have this Moroccan hair oil which I also really love and I always try to take with me on a trip. My hair is dry so it really can use oil frequently throughout the day. Oh, and then I also have this eyeliner, which is what I like to wear at night, which is my Kat Von D. I think it's called the Tattoo Eyeliner. It is my favorite, and the, uh, the name of it has completely rubbed off. But I'll go ahead and link it below if you're looking for a really good liquid eyeliner. And then I'm going to just try to see if I can fit my eyelash curler in here. Um, but this is starting to get pretty full. So here is everything inside. And let's go ahead and close this one up. The zipper is a little bit finicky, but not too bad. And here it is completely full. And I think it's like the perfect size for traveling. I don't know, what do you guys think? It fits a lot. Unless you have a lot more makeup than you would like to travel with, then maybe the BB size would be the size for you. But I think out of the three sizes, the Nice Mini is probably the one that I think is the most versatile size. I also really like this makeup bag because it is a canvas material, so it's very hardy. I like that the inside is wipeable. The zipper, now that I've been playing with it a bit for this video, has become a lot easier to open and close. But here it is again, everything inside. Now when I get an organizer, I think it may fit fewer things, but it will be nicer to have it nice and organized so that you can easily find everything in there and not have to pull everything out if you're looking for something that maybe is at the bottom. But this is the Nice Mini. What do you guys think? I mean, it does fit a whole lot. So... Um, actually, and I didn't check, this piece was made in Italy. So I ordered it online. It came from the Fulfillment Center in Texas, but it was a made in Italy piece. I've ordered one other item online from, no, actually I've ordered two other items from Louis Vuitton online. Um, actually, I've ordered everything that I own from Louis Vuitton online, and let me just grab them. I also ordered this cosmetic pouch online. This is the smaller size cosmetic pouch in the Damier Azure color, and this piece was actually made in Italy. 
this piece I've had, um, I think like I've had it maybe a year and a half, and the Vachetta is still in really good condition on the outside. On the inside, the tab did have a bit of a spill, and so it does have a stain. And then up top, it also has a green stain in the, the zipper lining, I think from, I don't know if that was toothpaste or what, but other than that, it has held up really well. The corners are in excellent condition as well, and the canvas itself looks new. And the very first piece that I purchased on LV's website was actually my Pochette Matisse, which is my favorite Louis Vuitton piece. This is one of my most used bags. I love this bag. I did not see this one online when I checked, but they have been adding new stock every day. So I would keep checking the website if you're in a location where you would need to order it online and you can't go in the store or maybe your boutique doesn't have them, I would say keep checking online to see if this one comes in because they have been adding so many canvas pieces and this one is still my favorite bag from Louis Vuitton and it's actually one of my most used bags in my collection. I cannot recommend this bag enough. So before we go, I just have a few final comments on the Nice Mini Toiletry Bag. When it's full, it does get a little bit heavy pending on what's inside of it, but the bag itself is not heavy at all. That's because it's made out of the really nice lightweight canvas material that was specifically designed for traveling. So it is really nice. On top you have the Vachetta leather. I know some people get afraid of this, but you can spray this with Apple Guard and it'll protect it from water droplets and stains and things like that. So I think that is another thing that I'm going to do. But I am really, really happy to add this piece. I've been thinking of adding it for a while now and the fact that it was online was just kind of like my sign to get it. So guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this toiletry pouch, please let me know in the comments below. I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys might have. And thanks again so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.